Hey planner friends, thanks for coming back to my channel and checking out another video. Today we're going to be covering planner Japanese. I know that we're all really excited about cracking open our new 2023 Hobonichis and whether you have the Avec or the Weeks or the Days Free or the new English Cousin, the Japanese Days of the Week, those kanji characters are still in all of the different books. So I thought if you're up for the challenge, it would be a nice way to get into the 2023 year by learning some Japanese using your Hobonichi. So go ahead and stop the video and grab your Hobonichi if you have it close at hand. Um, it will be helpful as we start getting in to the days of the week. Before we get into it, I would like to quickly go over the historical background of the Japanese days of the week. There's two different categories that they come from. The first is the Chinese philosophies of yin and yang, dark and light, moon and sun. And this is the same as our calendar, right? We have a Sunday and we have a moon day, which is Monday. So those are exactly the same. The other five days of the week come from the five Taoist elements of fire, water, wood, metal, and earth. And from a Western perspective, when you hear fire day or, you know, water day, it kind of sounds a little Native American, right? Um, in any event, it's just interesting to know that that's where the base of their meaning of their days of the week come from. And before we get into the enunciation of the days of the week, I just want to go over quickly the differences between English and learning an Asian language. So English is consonant sensitive. If you look at the left hand side of the screen, you'll see coat, boat, goat. And the only difference is that first consonant of the word. If I were to take the word coat and elongate the vowel in it, coat, you can still tell what I'm saying. You might think she sounds kind of strange. Why is she talking like that? Is she on medication, right? But you still know what word I'm saying. So then let's go to boat. Say that I have a different intonation for it. Boat, boat, right? You can still tell that I'm saying the word boat. And again, you may be thinking sounds a little strange. Why is she talking like that? But it doesn't change how we interpret the word. So if you look at the right-hand side of the screen, when you're learning an Asian language, Asian languages are vowel and intonation sensitive. So we can't just nail the consonants and say that's good enough, right? You have to be really dedicated to learning the vowels and the intonation so it doesn't actually change the meaning of the word. So in these three graphics on the right hand side, they're right next to kami. And depending upon how you pronounce this word, it could have a totally different meaning of God or paper, or hair. I kid you not. Um, chopsticks and bridge are very similar, right? Heart and pigeon are really similar. So you really want to make sure that you nail the vowels and the intonation so your audience is very clear on what it is that you're trying to communicate. So because Hobonichi is a, uh, starts with the Mondays, we're going to start with the word Monday which is moon day. And on the left-hand side, you can see there's a crescent moon with two horizontal clouds. Next to it, there's a graphic of an outline of that crescent moon with the clouds. And the third graphic over the kanji character for Monday, you can still see the curve of the moon and the, the two lines there. And the pronunciation is going to be in blue on the far right side, getsu, getsu is what I recommend um, a lot of beginning Japanese learners to use. The second syllable tsu is very difficult for a lot of beginners. So just to get you by until you practice enough and you can nail that syllable, I recommend that you start with get su. But you want to eliminate the space in between the two words and you want to blend it together, right? Get su, get su, get su. 
And eventually you want to get down to that second line where you can nail that second syllable of tsu. So you want to get to get tsu, get tsu. But if you can't get there quite yet, you can start with the first line, right? Get su, get su. And whoever you're speaking with, they're going to be able to understand what it is that you're trying to communicate. If you look under that kanji character for Monday, you're going to see two smaller characters. That's for days of the week, day of the week, yobi, yobi. And if you put it together, getsu, yobi, getsu yobi. That's how you say Monday. But when you look at your Hobonichi planner, they don't have yobi in there. They only have getsu. And getsu is the direct equivalent of the abbreviation for Monday that they have in there, M-O-N. So M-O-N and the equivalent is getsu, moon day. All right, so moving along, we have Tuesday, which is fire day. On the left-hand side, we have a graphic of a flame and it has little sparks coming out. And the kanji character for fire day, it has that center upside down V that represents the fire. It has two little lines on either side that represents the sparks coming out of the fire. And the pronunciation for this is ka, ka. Now this isn't like a crow, right? Ka, ka, you have to shorten it up. Ka, ka, ka yobi, ka yobi. Ka, Kayobi. And Ka is the direct translation of T U E that's in the Hobonichi planners. Ka. So, so far we have Monday, Getsu, and Ka. Ka for Tuesday. All right, let's move on to Wednesday. Wednesday is Water Day. And this kanji character is created from looking at a waterfall. And on the left-hand side, you'll see a graphic of a waterfall. And as the water hits the surface, little sprays come out on either side of the waterfall. And I've put, in that, I've put that kanji character over the waterfall so you can see that the center portion has a line that goes down and it angles off to the left that says, you know, the water and the waterfall hits the surface and sort of bounces off to the left. And then on either side of this character are the sprays from the waterfall. So this is the character for water, and it's pronounced su e. And this is not like su e. You know, we're not slopping the pigs here, right? You have to really clip it and make it short. Sweet, sweet, sweet. It's almost like the word sweet with the t cut off. Sweet, sweet. Sweeyobi, sweeyobi, sweet, sweeyobi, sweet. So this character, sweet, is the same thing as W-E-D, the abbreviation for Wednesday in the Hobonichi Planner. So again, Monday, Getsu, Tuesday, Ka, Wednesday, sweet. All right, so moving along, we have Wood Day, Thursday. On the left-hand side, we have a graphic of a tree with the branches and the roots. And in, right next to it, we have a graphic of the leaves off of the tree. So we just see the focus of the branches up above and the roots down below. And then the third character, we have the modern kanji character for Thursday. And this is pronounced mo-ku. But again, you want to make sure that your vowels are shortened and clipped, right? Moku, 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 moku yobi, moku yobi. This is Thursday, moku. So let's go back. We have Monday, getsu, Tuesday, ka, Wednesday, sui, and Thursday, moku, moku. All right, moving along, we have Metal Day. This is Gold Day, Friday. On the left-hand side, you'll see a graphic of a mountain, and then there's two horizontal lines. And then underneath that, you'll see two little gold stones. 
with little sparkles coming out from them. And this is a graphic of mining for gold where you have to go through layers of dirt and then down below you'll find gold. If you look at the right hand side, you'll see that upside down V that looks like a roof. That is an illustration of the top of the mountain. Then there's two horizontal lines. Those are the different layers of the sediment of the dirt that you have to go through. The mine shaft down below in the middle. The two smaller little lines are the sparkles that come out of the gold. And then you have the uh, bedrock at the very bottom. And gold in Japanese is pronounced keen. So keen is, you know, a word from the 20s or 30s or 40s. You may have seen it in like a Nancy Drew book, right? That something is good. It's keen. But you want to make sure that, again, you like clip the vowel. Don't say keen, right? Shorten it. Keen. Keen. Keen yobi. Gold day. Keen yobi. Keen. And this keen is the equivalent of FRI, the abbreviation for Friday. In the Hobonichi planners. So let's go over from the beginning, right? Um, learning a language is all about repetition and practice. So getsu is Monday, ka is Tuesday, sui is Wednesday, moku is Thursday, and kin is Friday. All right, moving along, we have Saturday, birthday. On the left hand side, you'll see a graphic of a shovel in dirt, right? And the shovel has sort of a straight handle. If you look at the kanji character for Saturday, you'll see that there's a line at the bottom, that's the earth. You'll see a vertical line, that's the shovel. And then you'll see a shorter um, horizontal line, that's the handle of the shovel going into the earth, right? And this is pronounced do. So it's not like a pie dough or a cookie dough with a really long O. You really want to shorten that vowel up. And if I had an option to, you know, I would have put like a uh, Homer Simpson graphic in here, right? Like dough, like that's the kind of dough that you want here. You want that vowel short. So dough, dough yobi, dough, dough, dough yobi, dough is earth. All right, so let's go over it again. Starting from Monday, we have getsu for Monday, ka for Tuesday, sui for Wednesday, moku for Thursday, kin for Friday, and Saturday is do, do yobi, do, do yobi. All right, and then we finally have Sunday, which is Sunday. And on the left-hand side, you'll see a graphic of a sun with a line through it. And on the right-hand side, that's the Japanese uh, character for sun. And there is no circle in the Japanese writing system. The only language that does have circles is Korean, but again, that's a whole nother video. So just looking at this character, it's a rectangle with a line in the middle of it, and it's pronounced Nichi. And we already know how to pronounce this, right? Because this is the same pronunciation that we have in Hobonichi. Nichi. Nichi. Nichiyobi. Nichiyobi is Sunday. Nichi. And the Nichi is the direct translation of S-U-N, the abbreviation for Sunday in the Hobonichi planners. So let's do it one more time for repetition. We have Getsu for Monday. Ka for Tuesday, Sui for Wednesday, Moku for Thursday, Kin for Friday, Do for Saturday, and Nichi for Sunday. So that is it. I hope you had a good time learning the Japanese days of the week. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe. I'd be happy to do additional videos covering the 12 months of the year counting out all the days in a calendar month, or going over the various Japanese holidays that are found in the planners. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great 2023, the year of the rabbit, and happy planning. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.